Hey everyone, James here and today I'm back with a mock showcase video which is showcasing my builds from uh, Vegan Week 2021. Uh, unlike last year where I only did two of the categories, this year I um, forced myself to uh, go ahead and build for all six uh, themes um, and so I've got a build for each one. I just want to go ahead and quickly show you guys kind of what I did for each one. So we'll start with this one right here which was um, the first one that I built, this was for the theme or category Ancient. Um, and so I built some gladiators down here, as you can see. Um, uh, yeah, not too much to say about this. Um, I tried to make it a little bit more interesting by going with the angle of the, uh, the building right here, um, which I'm pretty happy with how that, that turned out. Uh, kind of makes it look like your inside part of the Colosseum or some other building that's uh, rounded off like that. Um, and then I just uh, did some figures, populated it with some uh, like peasants or whatever for the uh, stands right there. We've got some more uh, royals, the emperor or whatever right there. Um, and then of course, like I showed you the gladiators down here, um, which I have always thought were really cool figures from the CMF line and uh, so I was happy to actually get to use them in uh, or some of the parts for them in uh, a build here. But so that's the first one. The second build I did is uh, this really tall one right here um, which uh, was for the theme uh, or category um, historical uh, and so I chose to do the one showcasing uh, Benjamin Franklin's, uh, as you can see right here, his experiment with the kite and uh, right there and the uh, the lightning uh, for electricity and um, kind of discovering how, how that all kind of worked I guess. I'm really happy with how the cloud and the uh, lightning bolt turned out here. I think the shape of the cloud turned out pretty cool and the uh, lightning bolt, while simple, I think looks pretty good as well. Um, and then we just have some simple landscaping down here uh, with some uh, different colors than I normally use, I guess, for landscaping, uh, with, since I don't have much olive green or uh, medium nougat, but it was uh, fun to get to use those here. Um, one of the people, after, after posting this, somebody had suggested that I had done a black um, background to hold up the cloud so that it would look kind of like a dark sky um, and then you wouldn't have all the annoying trans clear bricks right there. I wish I'd done that in retrospect. Um, it would have been a really good idea. Would have made it look a lot cleaner, um, especially from farther away uh, so that you're not, the those bricks just aren't standing out. But still happy with how that one turned out. Okay, uh, this one was the third build that I did for the fantasy category. And I'm really happy with how it turned out, um, especially what I started with here, which is this hummingbird. Um, I'm really happy with the design here and uh, the colors are kind of getting blown out or don't look exactly how they do in uh, person here. But we've got medium lavender, teal, and then dark azure up there, um, which I really can't, maybe if I do that, you can kind of see a little bit more of the color. Um, so yeah, I was, those are some of my favorite colors right there. We also got a little bit of dark purple and I really like how, um, they all blended together here and just the design of it overall. I think it looks really cool. Um, I also got kind of a cool looking saddle back here for the, uh, forest man on top of there, which is another CMF that I used. Um, then we've got a fairly simple, uh, flower design here, but I thought it was kind of cool. I got to use the beehive piece in there. And then um, I've got a rotting log, which I was quite pleased with. Um, it uses one of my favorite techniques, which is uh, a gear. There's a certain size. I don't remember what it is. It might be the 36 tooth, but you can put um, tread links around the gear in a circle, and then you can use um, one by four plates uh, or tiles and connect it into those treads. Uh, and so that's how I did the curve on there. And we just have some nice landscaping with dark green, which is 
another one of my favorite Lego colors, uh, and some mushrooms and flowers all scattered around. Uh, okay, on to the back builds here, which let me pull this one out of the way a little. So this one here um, was built for the uh, modern category, um, which I think was defined as anything after 1900, maybe? I don't remember for sure. Um, but anyway, I did a 1950s, I think, um, diner right here. Uh, and there's nothing too crazy about this build, no insane techniques or whatever, but I'm just really pleased with how it looks overall. I think I, especially this top part right here, I think I really was able to capture um, kind of what a lot of diners back then looked like. Um, and especially, I based this off of some uh, a picture or concept art of one that I found on Google. I'll link that in the description below so you can kind of see what I was going for. Um, yeah, we just got the brick belt letters up here, which I'm pleased with how they turned out. Um, I got to use tons of these rounded uh, hump things and some of those old motorcycles, which is cool. Um, there's no real interior other than a little bit you see right there. Uh, but then I also was able to do some simple parking spaces, which I thought was uh, pretty cool too. Um, but that's it for that build right there, which was the fourth category. Um, for the fifth one, we started to get into uh, more of the type of genre that I build more frequently and enjoy more uh, with sci-fi. And uh, so I built a drone racing, uh, like street racing drones um, here on top. And then below we've got a drone charging um, station kind of thing. So for this, I built a new um, drone frame, uh, which is the one that's used on the bottom right here, as well as on top. Um, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I like it a lot and um, might end up using this in some other stuff because I, I like it so much. Uh, I don't know, I just thought that the concept was also really cool too, um, with this being like some form of entertainment there. We've got crowds of aliens and other sci-fi people uh, just watching on the, uh, the side of the street racetrack right here. And then, like I said, just the uh, drones that I made the three different colors of with the neon orange highlights, um, the dark blue, or trans dark blue, I guess, highlights, and then um, the purple ones here. So that's that build. Um, nothing really complex other than the uh, drones, but uh, it was definitely one of my favorite ones to build um, because of those guys. And finally, we've got this build right here. Um, this was the final category um, with the theme of mixed themes. And um, so you're supposed to take two Lego themes and mix them together in one build. Um, so I chose Space Police, as you can see right there, and then also um, World Racers and kind of combine them together in the idea of the world racers went on up uh, into space and um, we're now racing aliens, all sorts, uh, on different asteroid belts. Um, so for this, I pretty much just built three speeders. So we've got this police one right here for the space police. We have um, this one from, uh, or this one for the world racers, which was pretty heavily inspired by the um, Snake Canyon set that came with the motorcycle racing ones and um, had those two rockets kind of used in that set. And then um, we've got this uh, one here for uh, Squidman from Space Police. Um, and I like the design of this one too, even though it's pretty simple. I think it just works pretty well and looks cool. Um, and then also we've got a uh, traffic light because they just blew through a red light in there. Um, illegal asteroid belt racing, and uh, that's why we've got the uh, Space Police Man coming after him. Uh, so yeah, this was a pretty fun build, um, even though I didn't get to spend a huge amount of time on it. 
Uh, normally, this one you are allotted um, two days to build for, uh, the final category, but I was pretty busy on one of them, I think, um, and so I ended up only spending part of a day on it. Uh, but still, I like the concept I came up with, and uh, yeah. But that's it for that build right there, and it for um, everything that I built this year uh, for Vegan Week. Um, it was definitely a fun experience, even if it was really tiring and uh, kind of stressful trying to come up with a build each day. Um, and uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing it. It's definitely a good way to push yourself out of your comfort zones and um, get better at building under time limits and pressure and some theme constraints. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, hey, let me know which one of these builds is your favorite in the description below. Um, I can't really decide which one is mine because I like aspects from all of them. Like I said, I really like the hummingbird there. That's probably my favorite thing that I built out of all of them. The drones are close second. And then I also really like the cloud here. I like the concept of that one a lot. Um, that was just pretty fun to build. And this one I was happy with the angle and how I was able to kind of get some of that sort of stuff to uh, work. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video and I will talk to you again later. Bye.